Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Greetings, Chen Champions. Welcome to Chatufa Television Production. This is Chatufa Chete Chete, a platform of the gospel of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people, where we talk about issues that are happening in our nation, around the nation, and all over the world. Very, very exciting as we continue to walk step by step towards the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. We have seen Emerson Nangagwa uh, many times, you know, coming out on the, at Heroes Acre, you know, bearing uh, these. Uh, uh, military soldiers, um, especially the top guys in the military, one after another, one after another, and with most of them dying in mysterious ways. A report that we just uh, received is, is saying that Zimbabwe has lost 22 army generals between 2020 and 2022. And the question B is now, uh, what really is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Because it seems like things are not well. So Seke says, I have no words. Uh, we lost 22 generals between 2020 and 2022. We now have lost uh, lost two generals within a week. It is very sad. Uh, may they are uh, so rest in peace. Right. You still, still remember that uh, we still have uh, the Chaminuka and the uh, Kenel Andrew who have just uh, died recently. Both of them after short illnesses. And this has been the common trend that we were, we are talking about and we've always been talking about these issues, saying that what really is happening in the military must be shocking. And uh, one thing that we have always been telling the guys in the military is that uh, we are surprised with the kind of silence that we are seeing, whether it is uh, submission or what, we don't know. But things are not well, It's especially when it is seen by people that are outside the military. We are the people that are outside there, but we are seeing that inside there, things are not right. Uh, why are they pretending as if everything is okay when people are dying like flies? And this is very, very sad. Remember, these are our own brothers, and these are also our family members. They are fathers, they are grandfathers, they are uncles and the like of different families, and they are breadwinners for that matter of many, many families. And for them to just be dying, you know, just like that, uh, without any kind of redress, it's sad. Uh, the only thing that happens is they are conferred with the hero, national hero status, and then they are taken to the hero's acre, and then it dies a natural death, just like that. We never hear from family members, even family members of those that were, you know, killed in some fun, funny way, like parents Shiri and the others. We just hear that the families are just complaining from some uh, hidden corner somewhere. It's not like they are coming out openly and uh, talk about the issue. We don't know what is happening with the families, whether they are being threatened or, or whether they've been given money or what. But if they gave, they were given money, why are they still talking and uh, complaining? Maybe those that didn't receive are the ones that are talking about that. But it seems like there is something that is happening right inside the military. And that, whatever it is that is happening, it's not good at all. It's not good. If it is an influence that is coming from outside, then the guys in the military must be ready to look into what this, what these things are. I'm sure by now the military is supposed to be getting to an extent of wanting to investigate thoroughly what really is happening to their guys, their fellow comrades, because you guys, Muchape, the Munangagwa, is going to finish you if you are not going to come up with measures to see how best you can curb this problem that is entered right into inside your camp. Why is it that it's all, all, the, all the time military, military, military? We are not seeing people that are dying from the politics. Why are we not also hearing, ah, this time it's Chinamasa or Mpofu or, or, or George Charamba? Always soldiers, 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 soldiers. What is it that is happening is our main question. And that question needs to be asked. Zimbabwean people are, need to ask such questions. Also, those that are in the military themselves, they need also to be asking such questions. What chich rukuiti kavarume? And why is it that uh, there is total silence? Nobody seems like uh, interested in coming out to talk about these issues. And right now, uh, out of the 22 that we are talking about, we are not counting the two. We have just gone within a space period of a week. And we are saying, uh, what is going to be happening in the coming week or so again? Are we not going to be again seeing another comrade going down? 
if we wait again uh, another month, are we not going to be seeing some also biting the dust like what we are seeing happening? And uh, should uh, the military continue to be quiet and silent at the time when uh, people are dying like this? And if they are quiet, why are they quiet? If they are going to be talking, why have they taken long? Because for, to have 22 of your own generals, of your own colonels or top brass of the military dying within a period of two weeks, I mean two years, yeah, between 2020 and 2022, that's too much. That's too much. And uh, we are beginning to count again in 2024. Two already down. How many again are going to be gone? By the time we get to the end of this year, how many will still be around? How many will be eliminated in something like that? And who is eliminating? We know that it can be the, the mastermind could be Emerson Nangago, but who is really the man who is having, who is doing the dirty work? Why is the military quiet? Why are they not using their intelligent, military intelligence to start investigating who exactly is behind? We've heard in the few days that have passed that uh, uh, Owen Nube Muda is being uh, fingered as one of the people that are being used to do these eliminations. But uh, we don't know how far true that is. But um, uh, the military, with its intelligence, must definitely be looking into these issues to find out what really is happening. Who is behind this? Who is doing and how are they doing it? Because we are having some people that are retired, uh, like uh, Chaminuka had retired. He was no longer within the military. He's outside the military base and the camp. Uh, how are they reaching out to him? What is happening? Is it through some meetings that they call? Or there are some people that would befriend him call him for some kind of bribe or whatever, and then they, they poison him. But of course, Nangagwa, cunning as he is, he will have many, many ways of uh, doing that to bring the people closer and uh, end up uh, poisoning them. And before long, within a few days, uh, somebody will be biting the dust and it is over. You are conferred a hero and then every, the family is uh, shut down by maybe the money, the taking over of the funeral by the state and things like that. And then it dies a natural death. Is this what we are seeing happening in Zimbabwe? And uh, why are we quiet as Zimbabwean people? Why are we quiet when our loved ones are going? Even those that are their own colleagues uh, should have gotten to a point this time around that they were supposed to be raising eyebrows over issues of the death of uh, army and military generals. So this is what is happening. We are watching the space to see what it is going to be uh, to be at the end of the day. But as for Nangagwa, well, I can assure you that uh, this direction that he's taking is not going to save him. It's a direction that is even much riskier and he's, uh, you know, pressing on buttons that would end up swallowing him at the end of the day. I see this as one of the directions that really are going to be costing the very existence of Emerson Nangagwa. He is touching a very sensitive area of uh, eliminating these guys because at this juncture, the guys are now very aware of what is exactly happening to them. So this is what it is. Uh, we will continue to be looking into uh, the issues that are happening in our nation as uh, more and more divisions and fights and uh, squabbles are happening right inside the camp of the enemy. God on the move and God causing some of these things to happen as he is opening up the way. He's uh, parting the Red Sea you know, for us to cross over. And it's a part of our Red Sea is also the, uh, you know, the destruction uh, of ZANU-PF by, by ZANU-PF, where they are destroying themselves, where they are pulling themselves down, where they are, uh, you know, uh, just eliminating themselves one by one. At the end of the day, who is going to be remaining standing when you start to kill one another? So that is a wrong move, totally, that is, cannot be con uh, condoned. But it is happening. We are watching at it, looking at it happening as of as, as of every day that passes by. So this is what it is, family. As always, we'll be giving you updates of what is happening around the nation, around Zimbabwe, and all over the world. Continue to subscribe to the channel if you have not, so that you don't miss some of the issues that we discuss here, especially when we have our live shows. That's uh, the, the time that we interact with you. We allow you to phone in. We allow you to put comments. We put your comments on the screen. We discuss on what you also, or how you also see things happening. Very, very exciting the times that we do, uh, uh, the interaction we do on this very platform. So thank you so much for joining me on the show. Remain blessed, family, till we meet in the upcoming shows. God is in it. The freedom of Zimbabwean people is coming. We are fighting a battle, a battle that we know that we are coming to win uh, because we are not on our own in this struggle. The struggle belongs to the Lord Almighty. Let's continue to pray for intercessors, pray for the nation, and pray for change. 
pray that the Lord's will be done over the nation of Zimbabwe. Remain blessed. Shalom.